Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to set up the Intel Developer Cloud and we will also help you in launching the Jupyter Notebook and we will help you in the installation of Intel ONAP based toolkit in the entire flow. It's going to be very easy and interesting as well. There are a lot of advancements that you can see when you compare it with Intel Developer Cloud Beta and this will be really fun. We will get into the process and I will explain you the things step by step. If you have any queries, you can ask us in the chat and we will be able to help you. But I request you to sincerely follow the steps and guidelines that I am providing you and it will be very easy for you to understand. Let's get into the process right away. You need to go to the website console.cloud.intel.com and once you get in after registration, you can register a standard user and options are there for you. I have registered as a standard user. Once you do that, you will be taken to the home page of the console where you have a detailed hardware catalog available for you. And there you can see the available process and GPU details are presented to you. It could vary slightly based on the region. And we have other options available including the software catalog, the keys. All those options are very easy to understand and you can start using it right away. I have already generated a key. That's why you can see that there is a test key available there. I'll show you how to generate a key as well in the process. Now when you go to my instances, the second one, you can see that I have launched a couple of instances and one of them as well has failed because of non-availability, but I'll tell you how to launch it successfully as well. There is an option called as cloud credits where you can redeem your coupon and that will help you increasing the cloud credit value. Now let's get into the hardware catalog. You can see that we have got options available there and I have selected the first one. In that you've got the instance type available here and I am selecting the fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable process. Since I selected the second option, you can see that I have got more memory and more features given to me. Now I need to name the instance as well. I have named it as test2. I can generate a new key or I can use the existing key. It is up to me, but I'm going to show you how exactly I'm going to generate a new key. I am naming it as my key and there is a procedure link available there. How to create SSH key. You can click that to follow the procedure, but otherwise you can also see this here. How exactly I'm doing it. Open a PowerShell and you need to type the command ssh hyphen keygen. This is the same procedure that you have done already and I'm just repeating it for this version as well. Once you do that, you'll be asked with a couple of permissions. Yes, yes should be the answers and give nothing for the uh, passphrase and that will get you generated with the ssh key. And you can see that the key is generated and the path is also presented to you and we are going to open the id underscore rsa dot pub file there you will get the key available for you. Now copy the complete key and this has to be updated into the console. So I'm getting back to the console right now and there you can see that paste your key content option is there. I have pasted it there and I'm going to click upload key. That's all the key is uploaded. Now you can see both the keys are available there. Whichever you want you can use or you can even remove the one if you, are, if you do not want it. Now when you click launch, it is working on our reservation and it will reserve the instance. It will validate the keys and it will add finally the instance to the reservation and we will be able to see all this real time in front of you and it is real fast. And the entire process will be very simple for you and you can see that the provisioning happens there right now and it may take few seconds for you to get the complete provisioning done until the provisioning happens until it is allotted to you. You sit back and relax. That's going to be that's going to take some time. You could see this here, the provisioning is happening and we will get it allotted very soon and probably next few seconds we will get that done. You have seen the message already there and that's it. We are getting into the Intel Developer Cloud Console where the allotment also has happened to us and we can now work with the instance that has been allotted to us. Test 2 is ready for us to go ahead and you can see the complete details about the instance which has been allotted to you, the technical details, the memory speed, the status, the storage details, the status details, everything is available there and you can get more information when you read through it. Well, we have got the instance allotted to us and it is ready. Now we need to learn more about the instance. Where do we learn it? Just clicking on the instance name will get you more technical details like what you are seeing in front of you. It also gives you the machine image information. Now I need to connect. How do I connect? Click the button how to connect. It guides you through the process for Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Just copy the command whatever is presented to you and I have a Windows machine. So I have copied the command which has been prompted for Windows connection. Now I am getting connected. It may take few seconds for the connection to be established. Just respond to the questions that it is asking and it will be very easy for you. You can see that it is prompting me to enter answers for the question that it is asking. 
and once it is done you will be connected and you are now connected to the system you can see that ubuntu is available in front of you and you have connected it through intel developer cloud and now we have to do certain steps and the first step is to get all the updates properly installed sudo apt update that's all this will get all the necessary updates available to us right in front of us within seconds once this is done we are free to go ahead with the next set of sequences and the next step is very important as well we have to install the intel one ap based toolkit i have given the commands very clearly available in the documentation and you need to first get that installables and then you need to install that file so the commands are available right in front of you in the sheet that i'm showing you so please go through this you can get the wget command followed by that we have got the installation command also available there you can issue these commands and you will get the complete installation done it may take some time for you to get all this installation the gui will prompt you to accept and it will permit you to install or it will permit you to even decline some installations it comes with questions for you you can read it and select it you can even give consent or you can give no consent for collecting the data i request you to carefully go through the installation process and it may take some time like you can see in front of you it will give you options one after another and it's a very comfortably designed gui which will be understandable by anybody even the first timer can understand it very nice is what i can say and that's going to be easy for you the installer will be prepared and it will be launching like this and you can accept and install go ahead with the next steps and that's it you are installing the intel one api based toolkit with ease once the installation is done you will be able to see the results in front of you as well i am going to show you that also right now you can see that here we are into almost 40 of 42 so we are installing the intel btune profiler that's the 40th of the 42nd total available uh, installation options for you so it may take some time for the entire installation as i told you but sit back and relax once this is all done you will get a message on screen saying that your intel one api based toolkit installation is complete you can see that it's getting updated the installation is about to be over and it's 100% that's all you have installed the intel one api base toolkit that's it it's very easy isn't it we'll go to the next step it's time for us to go ahead and install the necessary packages you need to install python 3 you need to also go ahead and do the necessary installations and arrangements for you to get the jupiter notebook used in your virtual machine so i am going to do all of that right now it is advised that you do the steps one after another and watch if the steps are perfectly run let's go ahead with that i am going to show you how exactly we are going to run all this one after another let's issue the command sudo apt install python3 hyphen pip this will get you the python installation done and that's what is happening right now and the next couple of commands you need to go ahead is for the installation and the usage of the jupiter notebook that's going to be very simple as well just watch out as i have done you can do that in seconds so once this is done almost everything is done we can go ahead and start playing around with the installations that we have done it will give you plethora of resources and options and you will have fun with that and in between if you get questions like that just select the default options and go ahead with that that's it now we are installing jupiter and almost we are done now we have finished the installation of the jupiter and you can see that everything is done now i'm going to issue the command jupiter space notebook once this is done i'll be able to get the complete jupiter notebook access availability for me you can see that the tokens are also generated for you which will be used in near future so just make a note of the token i'll definitely ask for it in the near future right so the jupiter notebook is all up and ready for you we can go ahead launch it and start using it for completing the launching process we need to issue the command and see the way i have copied it i am copying the first part of it only the second part of the command you will have to go back to the console where we have gotten the connection information and you can see that i am copying this part the fourth option i am copying that part and that has to be merged along with the command that i have given just in front of you so you can see that here i am copying this carefully and i am issuing the second part here so that your launching will be complete once you have given this command this is a very important step to be done so you ensure that you follow this up right so once this is done that's all sit back relax and that's it we are all done with it we will get the jupiter notebook access ready for us right now now let's click this you will see the jupiter notebook getting launched right in front of you the token i have already told you to make a note of it so please copy the token here 
and you will gain the access you can find the token once again from this place where you can see token equal to just copy whatever is available after that equal to and that's your token you need to just paste the token in the column that is asking for it and once you do that your access permissions are granted that's it you are into the Jupyter notebook so it looks very simple right you now comes the most important part of the learning how do we get the git available materials the tutorials into the Jupyter notebook same command git clone with the path I have given right in front of you you will be able to bring all those content from the git into your Jupyter notebook and that's going to be pretty easy git clone the complete path that's all you're getting everything into your Jupyter notebook and all this happened in seconds Try it out and you will be able to see the results immediately in front of you. When you go back to Jupyter, you will be able to see all this available in front of you. Try it. In case you have any questions, please ask us. We'll be very glad to assist you. And let us validate if it has really come over there. Yes, you can see that. Inside snaps on API hyphen samples. That's all. You got everything inside and start learning with the Intel Developer Cloud. It's going to be fun. Thank you.